better. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Holly, and today I just wanted to take you through some of my very favorite practical life activities to do with my son. My son is two and a half almost two and a half uh, years old, and he loves to help me around the house. I don't know about your guys' kids, but whenever I'm doing something, like he wants to be right there with me doing it, and that can be kind of annoying if you aren't expecting it or if you don't have a lot of time, but if you do have the time and you are uh, keeping things into perspective, I would definitely recommend having them help you. So throughout the day, I filmed 10 activities that I did with my son while we were doing chores and different things like that. And I love these care of environment activities for him because they are very engaging and I'm able to do what I'm needing to do and get done while he is able to learn a skill and be able to learn to take care of the things that he has, which is really important. So these practical life activities or chores as you can call them, are some of my favorite things to do. And I hope that you enjoy watching these activities as my toddler and I go through the day. And then you can gotta get it full. So when you're using the watering can, you probably don't wanna do it all the way full um, because there's a tendency for them to spill it. Okay, join your hold it. Okay, be really careful. Good, okay, now come and pour over here. Good, thank you. And I really just love watering plants with him because it teaches him how to take care of uh, different things. I have to tell him, you know, like this plant needs water to live just like he needs food and water to live. And we're helping to keep it alive. So I think that that is a lot of fun and it's a great activity. He loves it. He always like finds the watering can and asks me to like help him water the plants. All done. All done. Did you do all the water? You did it all done. So, this is one great activity that I love to do with him. Wipe on the mirror. Help clean the mirror. What? That's weird. Okay, can you wipe on the mirror? So doing the mirrors is another thing that I feel like is super easy for kids to do because they have it on their level huh? and they can see like a before and after like if you like show them that the mirror is dirty and then afterwards you can show them that the mirror is like all clean. Yeah. You want to keep helping? Are you all done? Okay. All done. All right, so Oak has been loving to do the laundry ever since he was little. And so we are going to do some wash. And washing is great because especially if you have um, a washing machine that are front loaders, I mean, it's like their height and like easy for them to cut everything in. Something I love about doing chores with your kids is that it teaches them sequences and they're able to learn, you know, first you put the clothes in that they're and they're dirty, then you switch them and you put them in the dryer and then you take them out and they're clean, which is really important in development. table for oak and he helps me wipe it off. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Okay, do you want to help me spray? Yeah. Okay. So I really like this cleaner. It is a non-toxic cleaner and it makes it easy because he can help me clean with it. Okay, want to spray the bottle? Ready? Spray. Nice. Okay, here's your cloth. Um, and then I'll just give him a cloth and help him um, learn how to wipe the table. So this is a great activity that you guys can do with your kids because you're, I don't know about you guys, but I am like always wiping the table 
Um, and so it really teaches them to clean up their own messes. And I mean, they're gonna be wiping the table their whole lives, so. Oh, careful. benefits to cleaning with kids yeah. and helping them clean um, is that one it's like you're already doing that I know throughout my day I can struggle to find activities to do with oak things that are going to you know take me through those tough times um, especially if I'm feeling overwhelmed with housework and sometimes yes uh, it takes uh, more effort to have kids help um, because it's yeah. going to be slower and everything like that but if you're already working with your kids and you know it's either playing with them or helping them do activities like this i i mean like this you're like doing two birds with one stone right like um this counter needed to be wiped down oak needed to be played with and this way i mean both get done in the end so i really enjoy just doing like practical life and like taking care of our home activities with oak yeah, are you showing them the rags? All right. Do you want to show them sweeping? Sweeping. Should we get out the broom? Yeah. Okay, let's get out the broom. So this broom I just got on Amazon, and it's great because um, you can untwist it here in the bottom and make it, I don't know if it's like meant to be this way, but you can make it a child-sized broom. The like top comes off. And so now you have like a child-sized broom, and he can help sweep with this. If you want to make it like more of a fun activity, you can get some tape um, and then make just a little square or a circle on the floor so that they have um, a place that they need to sweep all of this stuff into. Can you sweep it? Untwo it, look, let me show you. Ready? Ready. See, sweep. And you've got to put it in there. Easy. Sweep. Tick. Tick. Yeah, can you sweep? do a lot of sweeping it's great because uh, if I'm in here cooking he can be over here learning how to sweep practicing his skills and I mean that was what being a child is all about it's just practicing and learning and growing another thing that can be great is helping kids uh, make their or ha help make their own meals so we're having this peanut B&J yeah put it on the bread Good job. Do you want to put some more on? Okay, is that good for the peanut butter? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do jelly. 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 Okay, can you put the jelly on? So when we are doing these activities with kids, it's great to let them figure it out on their own, um, not interject too much because they are going to figure it out eventually, uh, even if it does seem like it's taking a while. Um, obviously, you can help them out when you feel you need to. But just being able to give them the space to learn and grow and um, be able to interact with their surroundings, I think is really great. Okay, good job. Can you fold in half? They also have a great feeling of accomplishment when they are able to make their own food and do like tidy up their own things because it helps them understand that this stuff is theirs and they need to take care of it and you know like feeding himself like he's able to take accomplishment in the fact that he made this sandwich for himself.
so it is the end of the night now and um, we are going to put some of his toys away. I always like to uh, end his night with just picking up his room because it gets like really messy during the day. Um, I also usually like to uh, make his bed in the morning um, and then just kind of put all of the stuffed animals and everything back on his bed at night. So um, that is another activity you can do. It's just making sure that they are picking up their own toys um, and making their own beds. Something great about a floor bed is that they can make it themselves. They can, um, you know, put their blankets on it and put their pillows and their stuffed animals. And so I think that's really great. And then if you have their toys on their level, they can get their toys out, but then they can also put them away. And I taught Oak from a very young age um, to put his toys away. And at this point, he definitely still needs reminders, but he's pretty good at putting his own things away um, after he is done playing with them. So if you are really vigilant about it, and I used to be a lot better, I need to get back on that, but... Um, if you are vigilant about teaching them from a young age that they can put their own toys away and like after they're done with an activity to put it back on the shelf, they are really great at remembering to do that and they know that it's just part of the sequence that they get the toy out, they use the activity and then they put it back and that's the sequence and it just is like a part of the activity is putting it back. One animal and then do a jump. Put one animal away. Right, animal. Okay, now do a jump. Okay, now put one animal away. to work with your kids um, and where they're at. So I could tell he was tired and so I was willing to do jumps with him in between, whoa, in between cleaning up. And I think that that is uh, important is just to be flexible, work with your kids because you want them to enjoy taking care of their own environment. You don't want it to be uh, very, you know, super stressful all the time. and and not a good time but have it be fun where you're spending time with them and you know they're enjoying it too while you're also getting some work done getting some things done so that is all for uh my activities i hope that you enjoyed these activities if you did let me know in the comments down below if you do any of these with your kids i would love to hear about all of your guys's experiences with all of these different kinds of activities and just helping your kids uh, be able to learn some chores, be able to learn about taking care of themselves and of their environment and the importance of that. Silly. Whoa, that's a big jump. <laughs> I hope you guys just enjoyed this video and I hope that you were able to uh, gain something from it. And if you did, please like and subscribe. I would love uh, to have you guys join my channel and yeah. Um, no, become part of the family here. Okay. All right. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.